To open today's vlog, Olivia and I want to first say thank you to Erica for sending us a kind of like mommy-daughter matching package in the mail. So flipping cute. We thought that was just so sweet of you. This came in our P.O. box. Another card I want to mention is Erica from Boston. And then we have other graduations. We have like a whole other grundle of things, but specifically these are ones that stood out to me that I wanted to say thank you to you guys. Thank you for sending them to the P.O. box and not stopping at my my house if you watch me on Instagram you know what oh no I mentioned it here on YouTube as yeah. well so thank you guys for sending your thoughts and your letters to our PO box we really appreciate it and the gifts are not necessary but we love them <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much first let's start with Boston's game bossy did you win yep Cody did you win nobody did well the thing is there was <laughs> Two teams, and they kept on tying up, so there there was more and more innings to the game, and so we canceled, and tomorrow we have a game, and then after that we have another game. Well, it depends if we win. So basically, we didn't get to play because the team before us just kept tying. Tying up, so... We've been there for two an hour and 35 minutes? Yes. Are you guys ready to hear my favorite purchase for the summer? This right here, this was the best money I have ever spent. I'm gonna show you why. I blow off the patio almost every day to keep it looking nice. The wind does this and it doesn't feel near as pretty or comfortable to sit in when it like looks like this. Plus I always do the like sidewalks and stuff too. It truly has made our yard feels so much better having it. So literally, it's my favorite purchase and I use it almost every day. Hey. Hey. Joel just got back with some ice cream. Oh. This was, what? That one's mine, right? <laughs> One you want, yes. These were the brownies we made for Father's Day, and there were leftovers. And we thought this would be like a nice way to just like hang out with the kids outside. Since they canceled Cody's game, so. I told them all about it. Did you? I did. In all my years of baseball history. <laughs> you guys should have seen Joel standing there with his new mitt in his hand. Oh, I, I think did. that's why he was so mad. <laughs> I did feel like a little boy, like finally showing up with my A2000. I was like, Hey, can I play? Do you guys need a second baseman, right? Hey, everybody! What's up? I'm just holding my hand up here for no reason. Just... Oh, what, what kind of mint was it? Oh, A2000? Oh, you didn't, you didn't ask what kind it was? Oh, well, I'll tell you. Go get him! <laughs> she... Oh, straight to the couch. Oh, yeah! I've been cleaning out that freezer. I, I mean, noticed. I can keep the patio swept and I can clean out the freezer, but you know, this, nah, I can't do that. This, nah, I can't do that. This, oh, nah, <laughs> I can't do that. But this, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can also do this. <laughs> Did everybody find a place to hunker down and eat their ice cream? <laughs> Pretty typical. The boys are on the tramp, Livy's on the swing, and he just pops a squat anywhere he pleases. Hi. Joel usually likes to take a corner chair, and me, I like to kick the old, what are these called? The old dogs up on the. <laughs> oh, hey, we got some company. You can hear the air conditioning behind me. It is so loud and that is one thing that Joel and I really took into consideration when we're uh, planning for our house build. Where we're going to have the air conditioner hook up to the house and also the th things like this, um, power meters and stuff, just drive me crazy where they're located here. We have them located on a side of the house all together that is away from the patio. It'll be really fun to have all of that on one side of the house. I actually made another change to our house plan. I was like, I am not gonna be one of those people that like changes it and changes it and changes it. I have solidified it and sent it off for the final approval like four times now. <laughs> I'm still learning and so I think that we have the house plans officially 
planned and so I can't wait to make a video and show those to you guys. I'm not really sure how I want that video to go though, so I gotta think about it. Are you guys a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> Why do you have your jersey on already? If I'm late. For tomorrow night's game? It's 10 o'clock at night and you're worried about being late to your game tomorrow? Mm-hmm. You played baseball with dad all night. You're going to sleep with your mitt and with your jersey on. I wonder what you're going to dream about tonight. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> well, I'd be it's shocked if... World. I would be shocked if you didn't. Good night. Linky Roy, we have either created the world's greatest tasting pancakes or the worst. In this bag, I mixed a one box of Jiffy and then a little bit of Bisquick and then I had a little bit left over Kodiak pancakes and so I pretty much mixed all three. So there's cinnamon oat, cornbread mix, which we make cornbread pancakes all the time, and then Bisquick. And we'll see what that does. Oh, and I mashed up two bananas and put it in there. It's either gonna taste like unbelievable or it's gonna taste unbelievably bad. What do you think? It's gonna taste good? Bad. Oh, hey, easy kid. I've been I've been keeping these counters clean. That's some pretty good stir. Okay, let's make some pancakes. Well, Mr. White Sox, what do you think of the banana, Go. cinnamon oat, bisquick, and cornbread pancakes? Good. Good. We are getting snacks for my game tonight. Mm-hmm. And we saw these and thought everyone on his t-ball team would think those were really fun. What a good And one. Daddy is going to bring a cooler of ice, so we got to yep. find what kind of drinks you want to bring. Mm -hmm. Would you rather do something like a like this, or would you rather do something, <laughs> Lincoln, like a Gatorade type thing? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, count how many are in there. So there's eight people on your team plus Cody and Boston. What's eight plus two? Ten. That's perfect, Ben. Okay. So that has ten. That's right. I'll push the card. Okay, and can I just show him your shirt real quick? I told Lincoln not to wear his uniform today and he insisted on wearing it and now it looks like this. I don't know how the back looks like that, but it's just pretty typical <laughs> for Lincoln. Not really sure what or how or why. <laughs> I saw a mom do this the other day. She got a Ziploc bag and she put in like the main treat that she was bringing into a Ziploc bag and then another little snack that she put in there and I thought that was such a good idea. And then she put that inside the cooler with the drink that she brought. I thought that was such a good idea. So that's what me and Lincoln are gonna do. Link, you wanna help me? I'll hand you the bag with the Oreos in it and then you put a gum in there, okay? And can you zip it up? Ooh, sap, green apple sap. Sour apple. Sour green apple. Sour. <laughs> And get the drink. Nope, you just put those two in there and then zip it up. I'm sorry, seven years old. My mom told me the leech is just going to you alone. Big leech you for yeah. everybody? Did yeah. Did you get one for me? Yes, we yes. did. And we got Thank one for Bossy. Or you're bad at needing some you of this. You guys stuff? can choose which one you want first. There's strawberry, grape, or the regular kind. <laughs> Oh, did he just get tagged out? <laughs> See, he doesn't care if he gets tagged. He's just like, I'm running home. <laughs> the home run when you get out. <laughs> Lincoln's playing first base. I don't think he cares what happens. <laughs> He's just happy to be here. He's just here for the party. You're gonna help divide them. You give everybody a bag and everybody a juice, okay? Okie dokie. Okay, there's a juice. You're welcome, guys. And a bag and a juice and a bag. You got a bag? Can you fit it in your mitt? There you go. 
I should not be giving any advice to our son. I was like, tell Cody to bunny hop when he throws it from third to first. Bunny hop, get his bike out there and tell him to bunny hop. <laughs> Joel's like, crow hop? <laughs> Joel had to go pry Lincoln out of the dugout. He's in there talking about dude perfect, all the boy things, and now he's like, all right, this is as close as I can get without getting in trouble. Bases are loaded. We have two outs. Cody's up to bat. Hey, now you know where it's at, Coach. Good eye, bud. Good eye. You got this, Cody. Good eye, Coach. Good eye. This is how all of our evenings have been ending and I am not complaining about it. The boys have loved baseball and they were the ones that were complaining that were just like, we don't wanna play baseball, we don't wanna play baseball and now they all like love it. We have our friends coming over to have some ice cream with us tonight. Olivia's at Young Women's. Good nights. These have been fun.